Hello there, I'm the move reminder. Okay, yeah, cool. Are you done with your shopping? Is your party all healed? This is the big challenge. You want to make sure you're fully prepared. If you go on ahead, you'll face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. We probably do want to use like all of our money because we're going to end up losing, I'm sure. I'm not sure if we're high enough level for this. I'm just going to run myself out of money by buying hyper potions. I'm poor! Are you and the lads ever going to do a Legends of Sinnoh game again? Uh, I won't say no, but it's not really in the plans right now. I can't even beat the first member of the Elite Four, so this is the Pokemon League, the most skilled trainers. Okay. Okay, I don't need this. Here's the question. Do we just try and run it? Or do I go level grind a little bit? Hmm. I feel like I should run it just to see what level they are. I mean, we should theoretically get like some mid 60s by the time we get to Lance. And I'm already low on money, so it's not like I'm gonna really be losing anything by losing. Let's take all the items and then divvy up items where they need to go. Lopvoir is definitely getting leftovers. Who gets the other leftovers, if anyone? Charxorus, maybe? I think Esvern is the best bet for the life orb, although Twisted Spoon could also be good. But I feel like Life Orb on Esvern is gonna go hard. Blast Terra wouldn't be bad for um for the other leftovers. Definitely one other Pokemon is getting leftovers. Because I mean leftovers are incredible. Blast Terra, it's either Charxorus because he's taking the recoil damage, or it's Blast Terra because he's the bulkiest. I think Blast Terra. And then what do I put on the other three? That is the question. <laughs> I didn't realize I had bright powder. You know, I'll be scum. Why not? Why not? Boom, 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 boom. Destiny not quick claw. Quick claw isn't awful. Are Shell Bells actually any good, chat? I don't remember if Shell Bells are any good. I might. I don't think the protective pads are really gonna be that useful. We don't have a poison type for Black Sludge. The biggest of roots. We don't have any Pokemon that could take advantage of big root. Rocky Helmet? Shell Bell is like one-eighth of the damage you deal healed? Okay, so it actually... Shell Bells actually scale? I didn't know that Shell Bells actually scaled based on damage you did. If that's the case, then that might actually be incredible on Charxorus. Set up like a double D dance and then uh, heal off some of that like Flare Blitz damage and whatnot. And then I just have, um, I only have one left, right? Skeptrum? I think Skeptrum gets the Quick Claw or the Rocky Helmet. Maybe Dragon Scale on Skeptrum? I don't think Dragon Scale does anything. I don't think it buffs Dragon moves. It, it doesn't say it does. I don't think it does anything. I think it's just for, like, evolving Kingdra. Or Seedra into Kingdra, I mean. I think Quick Claw. Skeptrum isn't slow, but I mean, like, it could make a... It could be a big difference maker.
Ah, uh, his speed is 141. That's higher than I thought it was. Yeah, I don't love that. We don't really have a good item for him, unfortunately. Soft sand for EQ? Honestly, I don't hate that. He's got stab for Dragon Claw and Leaf Blade to boost them. He has strong jaw to boost crunch and then soft sand to boost EQ. I don't hate it. Yeah, I caught Inte earlier, chat. I don't hate that. I don't hate it. All right, before we get in here, I wanna take my guesses at what types the Elite Four will have. Let me actually pull up a Word document real quick. So let's see here. Brock, you guys can't see my Word doc, but it's for me. Brock was Steel, Misty was Ice, uh, Surge was Fighting, I believe? Erica was, was Erica Bug? Erica was Bug, right, chat? Uh, Koga was Dark. Because I assume they're not double dipping Elite Four and Gym Leader types. Sabrina was Fairy, I believe. Blaine was Psychic. If I can type Psychic. And then Giovanni was Normal, surprisingly enough. Yeah, so... Steel, Ice, Fighting, Bug, Dark, Fairy, Psychic, Normal for the eight gems. I'm gonna bet, I mean, Lorelei seem, it seems like such an easy call. Lorelei will be water. It, it just makes sense. That's how it is in the normal games. Misty is water, Lorelei is ice, and then they just flip them for this maybe. Lorelei is water, Misty is ice. So I'm gonna guess Lorelei is gonna be water. Uh, who's the- it's Bruno. Bruno is, uh, I got confused because I was like, who's the second Elite Four? Because Bruno's the third one, but Bruno's the third one in Johto. I think in Kanto, Bruno, Bruno is second. Bruno? Honestly, I think Bruno is going to be Rock because he can't be fighting or steal because that was Brock and Surge. So I'm going to guess Bruno is going to be Rock. Then it's what's-her-face, right? Agatha? Agatha. She can't be Dark Fairy or Psychic, and I presume she's not gonna be Ghost again. Huh. I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I think she's gonna be Poison. I'm gonna say Agatha's gonna be Poison. They just swapped her and Koga. And then Lance. He can't be Dragon, so there's not gonna be a Dragon one, apparently. Lance, I think, is... I think Lance is gonna be Flying. Yeah. I think it's gonna be water, rock, poison, flying. Chat. The champion is not going to be a, uh... The champion isn't going to have a specific type because it's gonna be Shroom, and Shroom will just run the team that he's been running for the entire playthrough. He won't have a specific type. So I, I'm thinking Lorelei Water, Bruno Rock, Agatha Poison, Lance Flying. I'm gonna close that word, Doc. I don't need it anymore. We'll see if I'm right or not. I'm going to lead Esfern because it's Esfern. We have all the healing items we could possibly need, hopefully. Save the game one more time for no reason. Here we go, chat. Elite Four time. Enter the Pokemon League challenge. I shall. Hello, Lorelei. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to ice Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. Let's see how many ice types you have. Rotoad? Interesting. Um, That is a water type, and you have Drizzle. Yeah. All right, that adds up. Two hit KO if I can live whatever this move is. Oh, it went for Thunder. Okay. I'll chew that. Yeah, Drizzle Thunder makes sense. All right, this is a good start for us. Ow, Life Orb. I think I just stay in. Hit whatever comes in. I won't kill it. It'll kill me, and then I revenge it. Giaracu. 
I... I hate that. Disguise. Oh, did I break your air balloon there as well? Who cares if you have an air balloon? You're not weak to... You're not weak to watch me call. Hmm. I wonder if I could D-dance and do like a mini sweep here. This thing's gonna be weak to Thunder Punch. I'm not gonna sweep the whole team. I don't think that this is gonna have anything super effective to hit me with. It would have to have like EQ. A Little bit of a risky play here. Let's see if it pays off. I'm already faster, which is good. As long as this thing can't two-hit KO me, we're in a really good spot. Okay, yeah, play rough, that's fine. That's neutral, because I'm fire. That did more than I was hoping, but I think I'm fine to get one more D-Dance, then heal, then Thunder Punch. Oh, I went for Ice Fang, perfect. Yeah, so we threw out a Hyper Potion here. Ooh, that's really good for us. Very lucky, Thunder Punch. Man, it still lived, I should have set up one more tail. Ooh, that hurt. I'm glad you missed that one a second ago. Oh, cool, I can run out your full restores. That's actually not bad. Ooh, and Shell Bell healing. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm I'm digging the Shell Bell choice. Yeah, please, let me recover all this Aqua Tail damage. Don't mind if I do. Thank goodness we have Thunder Punch on this bad boy. Yeah, Shell Bell. Shell Bell, good call. Yeah, Lorelei is water type for sure. All right, what else you got? I got Thunder Punch for it. King Star. Oh, King Draw Amistar. That's sick. I love that. Ooh, are you... Are you Water Rock or Water Dragon? That's a really cool fusion. Huh. I think you have to be Dragon. Or you're pure water, actually. Are you pure water? Because Kingdra should be Water Dragon and Amistar should be Rock Water. I think you're Water Water? I think it's Water Water. I'm going to go for Thunder Punch. And Thunder Punch will at least be neutral. Hopefully I live whatever it goes for. It is. It's pure water, I think. Or it's Water Rock. But I think it's pure water. Easiest dodge of my entire career. I'm such a gamer, chat. I'm built different. I'm quite simply the best to ever do it. Scar tops. Yo, that's sick. You're either Steel Rock or you're weak to Thunder Punch. Nice. I should have gotten one more D-Dance up at some point. I would be one-shotting them all. This thing probably had Sturdy, though. Bye. Pukuli, you have another Pukamuku? Oh no, the other one was Mimikyu. Oh my goodness. Oh, it killed me with innards out. Okay, interesting play. Yo, Charxorus did great there. Great work by Charxorus. Ooh, you've only got one other Pokemon other than this, okay. I think I can just crunch you. You're faster. First impression? Chat, what is that move? I don't know what first impression is. I've never seen that before. Like, give, I want to know that thing's base power. What it Was that a priority move? Milotina? Oh my goodness, Melodic Giratina? I want one! That's incredible! Priority, 80 base power, bug type move, only works on turn one. Ah, okay, interesting. I thought it might be priority. This is amazing. This is one of the best fusions I've ever seen. Thank goodness I outspeed you. Okay, you're water dragon. That's what I expected. Mmm, water type weather ball. I should chew that? Dang, I really thought I could live that with it being quad resisted. You have leftovers? Yeah. Water Dragon, if Artadash gets to attack, as long as it doesn't one-shot Artadash, we should just win here with Freeze Dry. Yeah, I need to live this. 
Dang. I, I was worried that that was a possibility that it would one-shot me there just because of how strong Giratina is, but I was really hoping. I wish we had choice items, man. I don't know if I missed them at some point in the playthrough, but man, it would be so, so nice if I had gotten a, uh, a choice scarf at any point in this playthrough. A choice scarf would make a world of difference. Dang, that does so much. Yeah, I, I didn't call mine because I knew I wouldn't be able to call mine around this. I didn't realize we were going to be giving the Elite Four legendaries. I mean, I can't really be that mad. I have legendaries, but... I think what we need to do here is it needs to be, um... S. Vern outspeeds Dragon Pulse. Giratina Origin isn't that fast. S. Vern should outspeed it. Unless the devs gave this thing, like, crazy IV EV shenanigans, maybe. Okay, good. I do have speed. I don't know if this will kill, though. Awesome. All right. I should have gone for the revive Esfer and play immediately, but I wanted to see if Artadash could make it happen. How dare you? Dude, that fusion was incredible. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. I do not feel good about our odds because she had a level 65 as her ace. So just straight up, I don't feel great about our odds of winning this, but I mean, we're gonna try, obviously. I think the key to winning some of these matches is finding opportunities for Lotvar and Sharkseris to set up. I'm worried about how much healing items we have long-term for that, though. Sup, Bruno? I was right about Lorelei. Am I gonna be right about you? I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people in Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my fighting type Pokemon. Chaos, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha. What you got? Tyrandra? Ooh, you, you're either rock or dragon. I think you might be the dragon trainer. Bruno with dragon sounds really cool. Also, are all of you weather teams? If so, please stop. I'm not going to one-shot this, and it is going to one-shot me into oblivion. Actually, Ice Beam, I might live. Yeah, okay. I have to high roll my Dragon Pulse, though, unfortunately. Come on, high roll. Nice. Esvern continues to be really good as a lead. It gets a kill and then dies, which is really all I can ask for. There's no point in, like, switching and whatnot. Meroperior. Ooh! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh! Level 64, huh? Yeah, you tanked that. He is gonna have, uh, way more bulky mons. Well, a water-type move literally evaporates you. I think you might outspeed Blastera, though, but, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? You shouldn't have a grass-type move, hopefully. Don't have, like, grass knot, please. Oh, I'm faster! Let's go! I mean, it is a Marowak Rhyperior, but you never know. It was higher level. Yeah, he's he's rock chat. I think I got him right. Yeah, Tyranitar and then right here. Yeah, he's rock, absolutely. Arm laid, that's cool. You're rock fighting? No, you're rock. No, 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 you're rock. Yeah, you're rock fighting. EQ. You have Leaf Blade, right? Glade gets Leaf Blade. I forgot about that. I forgot that I forgot that Glade would have Leaf Blade. Um, what's my answer to you? You probably have a bug-type move for Skeptrum. You probably have a rock-type move for Charxorus. Hmm. 